Hi, let's now look at a small question where number of A's have to be even and number of B's have to be even, <coughs> both of them. Before I start, don't write the notes. Notes is given in the description. You can download it. Second thing is I will be very slow while explaining. So please watch me at 2x speed so that you will save some time. Okay. So now let us see this question. So sigma equal to a comma b two symbols only and the language is set of all strings where number of a's number of a's are even and number of b's are number of a's are even and number of b's are even so sigma equal to a comma b l equal to number of a's are even and number of b's are even okay how are you going to do this so definitely there is counting involved right so whenever there is counting involved generally the admissions will come into picture right and when this is a divisible by 3 divisible by 4 divisible by 2 kind of question then mod machines right grid and mod machines both are same i mean there is no much difference grid and mod both are same okay so now I have to count A's, A's have to be even and I have to count B's, B's have to be even, right? So I am going to count A's like this, A's I am counting horizontally, A's I am counting horizontally, B's I am counting vertically, B is I am counting vertically, right? Now it will be confusing about what is each state, each state doing. That is the confusing part here. Now the confusing part is what is each state doing, okay? So for that always do this whenever you draw this grid machine or mod machine you always try to draw the lines okay now let me draw this line what does this line represent in this line even number of b's will be there right either 0 b's or 1 or 2 b's or 4 b's right so either 0 b's or 2 b's or 4 b's right here also see this either 0 b's or 2 b's or 3 b's right therefore this is even even number of b's even number of b's right now if you draw like line like this then what is what does these two two, two uh, st uh, states represent they represent odd number of b's see 1b 3b 5b 1b 3b 5b right so they are odd number of b's right now if i draw a line like this what will this line represent this line represents even number of a's why because here you are 0a 2a 4a right therefore this is even number of even number of a's even number of a's right now if i draw a line like this this will be odd number of a's why 1a 2a 3a 4a right so this will be odd number of a's odd number of a's right now what is the question a's have to be even and b's have to be even now see where those lines are so now what is the question even number of a's and even number of b's right even number of a's and even number of b's now even number of a's means this line and even number of uh, even number of a's and even number of b's yeah even number of a's is this line even number of b's is this line what is the intersection intersection of these two lines is this right let me number the states let us say this is state number one state number two state number three state number four right now in the exam instead of asking even number of a's and even number of b's let us say they have asked for odd number of a's and even number of b's odd number of a's and even number of b's right so where is odd number of a's odd number of a's is here right this line where is even number of b's even number of like b's is this here so this is the final state 2 is the final state in this case 2 is the final state all right 
So for grid machines, we don't write the regular expression because it will be too complex. They will not ask you in the exam. We will not, we will not write the uh, regular expression. And coming to this, this is a DFA because for every state, for every uh, input, we are told what it is, right? So definitely this is a DFA. This is not a, this is not an NFA. Of course it is an NFA, sorry for that. This is a DFA as well as NFA, right? So how many number of states will be there? Now, yes, we are counting either it, it is divisible by two or not, right? And Bs, we are counting whether it is divisible by two or not. Generally, if it is divisible by M and if it is divisible by N, then M by N is the number of states in the machine. So the answer for this is both for DFA and NFA, both for DFA and NFA, the number of states in such a machine will be m into n right since there is no dead state you don't have the dfa and nfa both are same right in exam they can ask you different questions let us say they are asking they are asking even number of a's or odd number of b's even number of a's and odd number of b's how are you going to find this even number of a's and odd number of b's what is even number of a's here even number of a's is 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 r is given r is given means union union what is the odd number of b's odd number of b's is 3 and 4 therefore therefore totally it is 1 3 and 4 Total it is 1, 3 and 4. Fine. So I think that's that's all. That's all about this particular question. If you want to take my gate classes, we go to the website ravindrababuravala.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there. Okay. So coming to the classes, they are all recorded. Why am I doing recorded? Why am I not doing live classes is I have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if I conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 I had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which I teach generally I will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10,000 rupees. It is very, very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide. We have test series, we have doubt sessions, we have videos, we have lecture notes for everything. Even you don't have to write any lecture notes. I will provide you lecture notes for every subject. You just have to sit back, watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes. Short notes will be provided, long notes will be provided, formulas will be written in a separate notes. Everything will be there provided to you. You don't have to work hard. And coming to, if you are planning to go abroad, we also have study abroad program. You can go through my number. My number is on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is in the website. If you are planning to do masters abroad, that is a very good choice. It is better than doing masters in India. So if you are planning to go abroad, we will help you out right from the, from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c plus